right, all right, all right. Happy New Year, everybody. Yes, I say that when I start first speaking to anyone for the first time in the new year. So if you're watching this in June, it still applies. Happy New Year, because maybe you haven't been on my channel before. And now you are here and it could be June, it could be July. So Happy New Year. I do that in my real life as well which people who don't know me are a little bit astounded by. But if I haven't seen them for the first time in the year, then I don't care what time, when it is in the year, I say Happy New Year. <laughs> and then you can just imagine the looks and whatever. And well, maybe there's a chuckle afterwards, maybe not. Having said that, excuse you, Monsieur, Cousin It over here, Maxillaria variabilis, yes, in full bloom, is protesting. He wants his glasses. And they were on the top of my head because it's a gorgeous, gorgeous sunny day. Yes, it's crooked, I know. Give me a moment. Jeez. Okay. Can't, oh, can't see? Right. Gotta get this right. I don't know. Something like that? Yeah, something like that. That'll do. Don't move. They'll fall. All right, Maxillaria variabilis, cousin it. Happy New Year from him too. He looks like a little fireworks display all of his own there. This is what I know of him, end of January, beginning of February. So he is way ahead of schedule in blooming. I do not care. He makes a beautiful addition, a nice pop of color. And uh, if, you, if you don't mind, Excuse me for touching you there, yes? Oh, don't be silly. Let's do a little turn. Because you look pretty from the back too. You look pretty from all sides. Incredible. I could keep turning, but yeah, you know, you get my point. Let's show your favorable side one more time. So Maxillaria variabilis is doing his thing. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. There are other things doing their thing as well. And let's kick start off the year with some real firecrackers and get them dedicated to the different names that have come up on my list. Let's go. Check out this firecracker. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? This is Catlia Senua. And the first five growths have opened up and are almost all in full bloom. There's a bud pending to be open and there's another bud down here yet to be open. But wow, isn't she cute? Isn't this adorable? This and the Sophronites coccinia were the start of my downward spiral into miniature Cattleya's addiction. Yep, I said it. Sorry, but it's true. I cannot, cannot get around these cuties. And when these two, well, this one and the coccinia came in the same order, and when they bloomed, I was like, yep, that's it. I'm done. You've got me. I'm lost. More. <laughs> Can I have more, please, sir? So this blooming at this point, because I have a few more spikes to come, but this blooming goes to Ange Moss, Dr. Lovely Orchid, Sir CB, Nature Degree, and Plants Lover. I will repeat the names, and everybody that has a channel of the names I've mentioned, there will be a link in the description below in case I didn't pronounce something correctly or I stumbled across my words. So Ange Moss, Thank you very much. You showed up on my radar on Let's Talk Per Parata video. Dr. Lovely Orchid, it was Bubblicious that I saw you the first time. Sir CB, Bits and Bobs and Surprises, episode 13. Since then, I've changed Bits and Bobs and Surprises to be Orchid Potpourri. Nature Degree, on my channel intro. Thank you ever so much. And Plants Lover, was on the ninja gift where I got my letters, not in Neo, but it was a gift from my daughter, one of her friends, 
who made a wonderful little sign just spelling out my name and a fusion of English and Spanish orchids. Ninja orchids with a Q-I-D-S as opposed to, you know, C-H-I-D-S. Really, really cute. So that's what Plants Lover showed up the first time. And I want to say thank you ever so much to all of you for coming here, supporting and leaving your kind comments and being part of my channel and my orchid journey. Meanwhile, staring at this beautiful cernua that blooms for you. And I hope, I really hope the sun is picking up on the crystalline texture. I don't want to move her too much because I'm afraid about the focus. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous bright day today. And I can't see diddly squat on my screen except for pops of bright orange. But aren't these just adorable? They are not more than two and a half centimeters, maybe an inch, not more than that. But my goodness, aren't they just the cheeriest little things? And yes, they are little firecrackers the way they burst forth from that leaf. I love this one. It's not fragrant. Who cares? With colors like that, there is no need. But yes, I really want to, really want to, really, really want to say thank you very much to Ange Moss, Dr. Lovely Orchid, Sir C. Bean, Nature Degree, and Plants Lover. And this little Cernua, these first five spikes, they bloom for you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I don't think my daughter would appreciate if I did some kind of a weird thing for the orchid that I bought for her at one point because it's got her name in it. This is Dendrobium alexandre crossed with Polysema. Yeah, it looks alien. It looks weird. Definitely not any, any semblance to my daughter. It is only, only the name. That is why I bought it. I could not find the species at the time, and I was looking for an orchid that actually resembles the beauty of my daughter and how she radiates, but I was running out of time while I was purchasing orchids. So I settled for this one, and I'm still looking for that specific orchid that reflects and oozes everything my daughter is about. For the time being though, this is not about my daughter, and this spike, down here, I tried to get it to stay upright using my support over there, 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 and unsuccessfully. It just didn't want to stay upright. But this is for Kaler Aquatics and for Slap Happy Gal. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I hope that you are having a wonderful time, Slap Happy Girl, in order to live up to that wonderful name. And I hope that you actually do see this video because yes, it is, it is, it is a thank you to you and Kaler Aquatics for your support and for being here on my channel. And these two, I think are just remarkable spikes for a first time bloomer. And you can see over there, here, this one, I have a third one coming, but I wasn't going to wait. I know these blooms last very long, but I also, even though I'm trying to group my dedications now in order to get to more of you faster, I don't want to be always having a long, long list in every single dedication. The idea is to make you feel special and thanking you on a much personal and more intimate level as opposed to just, just in the comments and rushing through your name because there's a whole group. So I want to get this done. We will see these blooms for quite some time, but for the meantime, and for future reference regarding these two spikes, Taylor Aquatics and Slap Happy Gal, these bloom for you to say thank you so very, very much. Let me get in there one more time. One-handed, there we go. Astounding. 
absolutely astounding. No words, just God, I love that orchid hobby, hey? Isn't this just astounding? Isn't this just amazing? There is nothing really like it. And when you look at the back of the bloom as well, and then you look at how the buds develop, the buds themselves are a spectacle. I love it. I do not detect a fragrance from these blooms at all. And I've only seen one mealybug attempting to approach them, which it didn't get very far. I took care of that pretty sasahiri, gone. But yes, I am thoroughly enjoying this cross and thoroughly enjoying the abundance of blooms that I got on the spikes for it to be a first time bloomer. So Kaler Aquatics, slap happy gal. Thank you very, very much. Anita Yelm. This is Neo Stylus Loose Neary Blue. It is purple, but you know, in the orchid world, we'll take it as blue. And it certainly has a much more darker, solid appearance to the bloom as the regular Neo Stylus Loose Neary has. But it has the same fragrance. So, in a way, you could say this is a Neo Stylus Loose Neary, but it is blue. And I have several spikes on the go on this orchid on the different fans right now. And there will be a spotlight video about what is going on here. Eventually, when I see more spikes open. So I'm going to dedicate this little spike of four blooms to you, even though they're shy they don't really want to be looking at us which i don't understand why we're just here to admire them and gush over them and enjoy them but anita yen thank you so very very much for being on my channel you first came up on bits and bobs and surprises episode 14 and thank you for that very very much i hope that you are doing really well i hope you had a fantastic holiday season a great start to the new year. We're 48 hours in, according to my time. <laughs> but needless to say, I want you to know that I appreciate your support very, very much. And I really hope that you do see this video because it's been a long time since I have seen you, which is not, you know, it doesn't matter. But I do want people to know that they have been recognized. Very, very beautiful color, and it is true on camera. It is, the camera is picking it up spot on, just like I can see it here with a natural eye. And the fragrance is just as strong for these four as it would be for a full Neo Stylus Loose Neary Spike. So they're quite intense. Got the Neo Phoenicia, but much more powerful fragrance than the delicate Neo Phoenicia fragrance. And it's not nocturnal, so I can smell it from where I'm stood about two feet, standing like two feet away. I've zoomed in a little bit so that we can appreciate the blooms in the sun. Yeah, Anita, Yelm. I hope I said that correctly. Thank you very, very much. And I hope that you stay safe Encyclia Garciana Alba. Yes, I see what you see, but do you also see the blooms? <laughs> I'm referring to these concertina leaves. Let me just say something before we get too far into this and I forget. We are going to have to address this orchid. We have to. I don't like to have to take it off its mount, but the summer, that plate method, Lynn Brooks, fantastic. It worked to a certain point, giving me super clean, healthy growths. And as you can see, for the first time, I have three blooms on one growth. Normally, I only get two, but it's getting even so big that that plate method soaking thing over the summer is not working. 
Having said that, I have four little spikes to dedicate to Texas Orchid Lover 87, Sunita Gladstone, S.W. Knöll, and Cat Baloo, which I think is so cute. Cat Baloo, that is the name of my daughter's German Spitz. Baloo, so cute. Same spelling as well. So thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for being here. I cannot see in what reference or where you appeared on my channel, but you, your name is on my list. So you must have appeared as a new subscriber at some point for me to be writing it down. And let me tell you while we're at it, why this looks so weird and I haven't hung up the mount in order for a better presentation. This is the best way I could fandangle things in order to see the plumes because the hook has snapped in the long section of it as I was always straightening and bending and straightening and bending the hook over the summer in order to lay it in the plate to soak during the day. This is such a thirsty orchid and yes, it was doing so well for some parts of the summer and growing beautiful, beautiful growth, but then you can see how quickly it would resort to not actually developing everything fully and clean, which is such a shame. I need to do better. I need to change the setup. And the only thing that I need to do is find myself the right bowl-shaped self-watering container. And yeah, there lies the issue, but I'm working on it. I have something in mind and we'll get there because I've got roots that are already so adapted to a very, very wet environment, almost full water culture <laughs> in the summer. It was just in that plate of water, sometimes fertilized, sometimes not for about 12 hours a day. And oops, if I forgot it overnight, no biggie. This orchid could handle that, especially in the summer. And now it's just wet. I keep it as wet as I can, but not lying in the plate, the saucer anymore. So we need to address this. I have so many more buds coming, but in the meantime, I don't want to waste or lose these beautiful, beautiful blooms in order to be able to dedicate them to, let me repeat that again, Texas Orchid Lover 87, Sunita Gladstone, SW Knoll and Cat Baloo. If you have channels, your links will be in the description as always. Right, more about this gorgeous orchid. Let me turn her around once more without dropping her or doing something drastic. We've come this far. <laughs> Please excuse the background noise. The cars are coming in and out of the gate beyond the hedge. And I have a puppy deciding to rearrange the furniture in the patio. Happy days. <laughs> Oh, anyway, look at this. Let's go in. Someone said that these videos were going to be shorter, wasn't it? Yeah, not happening. Not this one. There's too much going on. Look at this. Oh. In the sun, these are crystalline. But I can't hang this up at the moment, again, because of that shortened hook. And the fragrance is astounding. I think I'm going to have to put little ribbons around each spike because I need to know which ones have been dedicated and which ones are coming new because this orchid will bloom on each spike for at least eight weeks. That's how long these blooms last and not because they're not dropping off, but because they're just that long lasting. Divine, divine. And the fragrance is, yeah, it's, it's one of the finest, finest talcum powder that you can imagine if you are shopping in one of those very high upmarket shops for beauty products and, and you're still into talcum powders, then this is exactly the fragrance. I love this, I absolutely do. When it's potted up, it's going to look so much better and it will probably feel much better because you can see, I am probably gonna lose some blooms because of the squashed nature of these growths, not getting hydrated enough. And we're gonna fix that it's going to go into a wet environment, almost bog-like plant style. <laughs> and then we'll see who, who's winning on the growth and the concertina leaves front. So thank you, thank you, Texas Orchid Lover 87, Sunita Gladstone, S.W. Knoll, 
and Cat Balu, my first four spikes opening on the Encicli Garciana Alba are there and they bloom for you. Thank you. Right, we're done. At least for this episode. I talked a little bit more, explained a little bit more. I'm just gonna do it. I have timestamps on the bottom. Anybody wants to skip ahead. So uh, thank you so much if you stayed on this long. I do want to keep try and keep my videos shorter, but it, clearly there's certain things that I just want to talk about and not rush through things. Please take advantage of the timestamps in the future and everybody else who watches the entire video. My goodness, I hope that you enjoyed it. And I don't understand why Cousin It is looking left. That's a bit rude. You ready? Hello, sir. Yeah, we're done. We're, we're done. You can come this way. So I'm talking to myself and Cousin It and to you here on this side of the hedge and I've got people talking on the other side of the hedge. It's all amazing. They probably think I'm nuts. That's fine. I would probably say they're right. <laughs> it's just a little bit distracting to be honest with you. However, again, thank you very, very much for watching. I have a few more things lined up that are supposed to be coming soon, but they're taking their sweet time because we've had a temperature drop. And now it seems like they've ground to a little, not a halt, but they've slowed down considerably. So there'll be little drips and drabs of blooms coming soon. Not as fast as I thought, but I'm hoping this will take care of the bug problem. This population has out of hand, very mild, mild autumn. Let's get those eggs knocked out. There, that was not a euphemism. <laughs> I better stop. Thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye.